Okay, going to do a real quick video here of comparing the difference between the Chicago Electric and the Bauer 10 inch sliding compound miter saws. Both saws, in my opinion, are great saws. They're both 10 inch sliding, so they both take the same size blade. The both uh, are true, the blade spins uh, nice and true. You can get them both zeroed out and they can cut 90 degree cuts. But there are uh, some major differences here. As you can see on the Bauer, the motor is kind of kicked back over at an angle, whereas the Chicago Electric comes straight down. That gives you a better view when you're um, cutting on the right side. The handle has a safety. The Chicago Electric doesn't. They both have a spindle lock. The spindle locks work. Not a big deal. Um, the major differences here is this stand is only about an inch and a half whereas this one is about four and a half uh, this one just came with some little wires that um, stuck out on the sides whereas this one you just flip this little lever and these slide out and they slide out nice and smooth lock in if you want to bevel your saw, you just flip this handle up and reach over here, bevel, boom, right back, dead on 90 every time I've checked it. This one, you have to reach back here in the back, loosen this up, screw, you know, slide it over, try to get it at your angle, tighten it up. Um, so it takes really two hands. I can't do it holding the camera because I, if I wanted to uh, set this at 30 degrees which this little dial here is garbage this one is pretty good this uh, Bauer will miter both directions um, and because you can sit here and hold it you know flip it there move it and then while you're holding it right here you can lock it back down it's very easy uh, compared to that one they both have the little clamps um, and but the Bauer does have the uh, shadow line a little switch right here turns it on I don't have it plugged in right now um, if you want to set your depth the Bauer has this little flip thing right here it flips down and then that sets your depth it's you know got the stop you screw in the one over here on the uh, Chicago electric is this little thin piece of metal and you just slide that over that screw hits it but when that screw hits it uh, that little piece of metal you know it just moves so you know it gets you within an eighth of an inch or so but not very accurate um, the Chicago Electric goes 55 or 45 to the left and 55 to the right the Bauer goes 60 to the right and then 55 to the left so you have a lot greater uh, um, an extra 15 degrees of uh, miter and um, your other basic operations your lockdown it's all good the Bauer does have the um, key here to uh, change the blade right on it and that's the same to adjust the uh, fence here so the um, little thing right here that uh, locks in nice smooth uh, stainless steel you can read it very good the Chicago electrics is this aluminum um, whenever you want to move it you just push this and see how nice and smooth that slides and then you can rotate this one here on the Chicago electric this thing is all it's like a, a lid to a Tupperware it doesn't really you know so sometimes it sticks and then you have to mess with it a little bit. So um, definitely both saws are worth their asking price if you have it. Um, I definitely think that the Bauer is worth significantly more. So if you're looking for features, quality for the price, I do believe the Bauer outperforms the Chicago Electric. But with that said, the Chicago Electric is... A great saw and 
uh, I have cut many, many words with it, and uh, you can't go wrong with either one.